Greetings, friends. So, friends, I have shocking news to share. The Federal Reserve has just made a big announcement in regards to inflation. Congressional lawmakers are now debating on $2,000 automatic crisis relief payments. This extra relief money will be made available to those experiencing financial difficulties, all due to this crisis. So, my dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video to learn about all of these details. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. And friends, at the end of this video, I'll be announcing a winner. So please stay tuned. A Democrat or Republican who's done more to push the issue of child care and get it done than the senior senator from the great state of Washington. And I thank her for that. I want to thank my colleagues, Senator Kane and Senator Blumenthal, who have also been such strong leaders on this issue. And I am here to say that what they are saying, Senator Murray, Senator Blumenthal, Senator Kane, is right. We need to do something in this country to lower child care costs and increase its air availability. And I pledge to my colleagues and to the American people that I will keep working with Senator Murray until we get something done to increase access to high quality child care for working families. We all know today families pay more for child care than at any point in American history. Amazingly, sometimes families have to pay more for child care than they would pay for a mortgage. It's out of reach. And some people forget how the world has changed. When I was a kid, my dad had this little junkie exterminating business. My mom was what was then called a housewife. I got home from school every day at 3 o'clock, and there was mom with milk and cookies asking me what homework I had. Oh, I don't have any homework, mom. And told me what time I had to come back home uh, from going out and playing in the schoolyard um, for dinner. That doesn't happen anymore. The vast majority of families in America are either single parent or two parents both work. The percentage that have two parents, only one working, is minimal. So child care is now a necessity. It's a necessity for families. The, the anguish people go through to try and find child care, and then when it's not available or something happens, and what are they going to do? They're both working and scrambling. Who's going to watch the kids? It's agony. It's not this kind of agony that comes, you know, God forbid, once in, a, once in a lifetime when you get a serious illness. Several economists have agreed that a recession could prompt a fresh round of stimulus checks. Congress previously approved three rounds of stimulus checks to be sent out to the majority of Americans. The first was for $1,200, and it was approved back in March 2020 as a nation locked down. Congress approved another $600 direct payments in December 2020, and President Biden pushed through an additional $1,400 stimulus check as part of his $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. While millions of Americans have signed online petitions urging our federal government to provide more aid, including reoccurring monthly payments of $2,000, Congress is looking at new legislation. Senate Democrats have already sent a letter to the White House urging President Biden to back recurring monthly payments. The letter stated, This crisis is far from over, and families deserve certainty that they can put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. Families should not be at the mercy of constantly shifting legislative timelines and ad hoc solutions. The legislators called for President Biden to include recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment extensions tied to economic conditions. They pointed to the effectiveness of the payments when issued together because direct payments can offer support for struggling families who are not eligible for unemployment. Tying the payments to economic conditions, known as automatic stabilizers, would provide family certainty that more relief is coming. 
it would also eliminate the need for negotiations in Congress because conditions for the payments would already be set. So friends, should stimulus checks be sent out automatically? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Economist Larry Summers threw cold water on the latest glowing jobs report, saying its data reaffirmed the U.S. economy is overheating and likely headed towards a recession. Larry Summers, the former U.S. Treasury Secretary, told CNN News, I think our core problem is that we have an unsustainable overheated economy that's leading to high inflation, which is cutting people's paychecks. New job numbers for July showed unemployment dipped even further, from 3.6% to 3.5%, continuing months of post-crisis employment gains. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said the U.S. unemployment rate had returned to its February 2020 levels before the crisis caused the economy to decrease available jobs. Biden and his economic advisors have brushed aside inflationary concerns, but the Consumer Price Index, a key inflationary measure, has risen, soaring to 9.1% in June. That is the highest figure since 1981 and an increase from May's 8.6%. Economists have also blamed inflation on too much demand for too few goods. U.S. rising inflation has tracked with months of strong job growth and wage increases. President Biden took to Twitter to herald the new jobs numbers, especially the 613,000 manufacturing position he said were created since he took office. Biden stated, more people are working than any point in American history. But Larry Summers told CNN News that while it's welcome news when people are getting jobs, he said the report showed that inflation remains out of control. He also said that the high numbers of job vacancies reflected in the report and wages rising in dollars, but not purchasing power, means that prices will continue to rise. The Federal Reserve has signaled it will once again hike rates in an attempt to slow the economy without causing a recession. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on the Biden administration's response to inflation? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and fabulous friends, thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching or listening to my videos. The winner of today's Walmart gift card giveaway is Teresa Bush, congratulations, dear friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you, friends.